Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Digital Lounge and I got another tutorial on Audition for you. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and go into some specific effects and workings that you can do with dialogue for your projects. Uh, I'm going to look at EQ, reverb, and compression. So I have a clip here from one of my projects. I'll play it real fast. This is a, a dialogue scene between two people. This is Jason. Let me see if you get that working. There we go. Unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change. Unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change. So uh, right now we do have some background noise. And I would actually use an effect not an audition for that. I would use an audio effect in Premiere called Denoiser. I find that works really well for the background noise. And I think I'll do another tutorial on that later. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just concentrate on the words themselves. Now, uh, the dialogue was recorded outside in the microphone. Uh, not the best quality. Uh, didn't really pick up a lot of the cadences of his voice. We're kind of missing, um, so we see some power and some low tones, stuff like that. So to go ahead and improve the quality of the voice, what we can do is we can start with some EQ. And to do that, we'll go to our effects tab up here. And we'll go down here and we're going to go to filter and EQ in our graphic equalizer. So right now we have a baseline EQ of everything we want. And so I talked about his voice, uh, low tones not being very good. Unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change. Unless you're a... Yeah, the voice uh, doesn't just doesn't sound very full. So what I can do is take some of these. These are the lower frequencies. And I can kind of boost them up a little bit. Now, let's say, let's just take like these two. This isn't going to affect the human voice too much. But we can like take stuff like this and just move it up a bit. And uh, let's see how that sounds for now. Completely different person. And that's stupid to change, unless you're a completely different person. Okay, you can kind of hear a difference here. Here, let me unless turn it off and you can person, hear the full, full difference. Unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change, unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change, unless you're a completely different person. Unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change, unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change, unless you're a completely different person. Alright, so that's nice. Now uh, the voice kind of feels more filled out. Uh, so that's just kind of something really useful you can do with EQ. Again, if you weren't able to uh, get the best mic or your mic's a little far from the person, you're not picking up the full range of frequencies in their voice, uh, you can boosting up the low frequencies in the dialogue will help that a lot. Um, boosting the high frequencies, um, not as common. What's going to happen if you do that is you're probably going to start boosting up the background noise more. Some of that uh, buzzing you're hearing in the background, that'll probably boost it more. But I find with low frequencies, boosting those in the dialogue really improves the quality. So we're going to and apply that. And uh, I'd also like to talk about reverb real quick. Reverb is something else you can also use uh, to boost the quality of a voice. Kind of give it some more uh, room, shall we say. Especially if you record it in indoors and uh, maybe it's a it's a large room, but you're close in with the mic, so you're not capturing the quality of the room. Uh, reverb is just going to kind of like fill out the voice more, kind of like how the low frequencies were. So let's go ahead and go back to our... Let's go to reverb here, and uh, let's just do our standard reverb. Okay, so now we have this. Now right now it's on a default setting. You can listen to that. You're a completely different person, and that's stupid to change, unless you're a completely different person. Okay, so I, I think that's a bit much. Um, we can take the decay time a bit. All these uh, settings here, just to explain that real quick, decay time is uh, just kind of really going to be the biggest effect. It's going to say how long the voice is going to carry, basically how far it's going to keep reverbing. Um, Pre-delay time, uh, that's something I wouldn't mess around too much with the dialogue unless you're trying to go for like an extreme effect. That's going to add a delay where the dialogue is going to go like, Kind of like a pause, like da, 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 the more you add to it. Uh, diffusion is like a, just another way it's moving around the room, another setting of the room. And uh, perception, so you can make the walls like more absorbent and keep in the sound, or reflective, like let's say you really want that cave effect, like somebody's in a cave, you can have the sound more bouncing off the walls. Output level, pretty standard, just how much of uh, these effects here that you want in there. And then how dry is just uh, how much you want the voice in there, the dry original clip of the voice. So I'm going to mess with this real quick. I'll take this down a little bit. I am going to increase the wet, but take down these settings a little bit here. Let me see. Stupid to change unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change. All right, maybe a little less. 
unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change. Unless you're a completely different Here person. Is it off? And that's stupid to change. Unless you're a completely different person. Here is it on? And that's stupid to change. Unless you're a completely different person. And that's. Okay, so that's kind of nice. So uh, again, it's kind of just filling out his voice more, uh, just making it punch through more from the background. Now, just really quickly, if you want to go crazy with it, let's say you want to have something for a dramatic or a funny purpose, you want a voice to really be reverberant, let's go crazy with it. Let's boost the wet up a lot, decay time up a lot, uh, pre-delay a little bit, and make the absorption really reflective. Now, let's see what that's like. Pretty crazy, right? So that, you can barely even understand them. And like these settings, like... You can mess with around with them all day trying to find that perfect reverb. Uh, there's a couple good presets here that you can mess around with. Uh, room ambience is nice. Ethereal is fun. Of course, get that. There's the delay I'm talking about earlier where you're going to get the voice, pieces of the voice coming after the others. So mess with the presets, mess with your own settings. Uh, reverb is a really, really uh, excellent choice to help out. Uh, with your either like a normal dialogue, like an interview, or something more dramatic. Here, Ooh, I lost my settings real quick. Let me just get those to about where I thought they were. Good to change, unless you're a completely different person. A little more than that. And that's stupid to change, unless you're a completely different person. And that's stupid to change. All right, that's gonna be close enough for now. So yeah, reverb is uh, probably one of the most useful audio editing tools you have. Uh, one other great one for dialogue scenes is compression. Now I'm going to go to another piece of dialogue here. Uh, this is from another character named Bernie. And what compression is useful for is when you have a dialogue scene between two people and you find that one voice is kind of overpowering the other, like in terms of just like either their, not even volume necessarily, but just their tone, or just maybe just a deeper voice versus a higher pitched voice. And you want to balance that out because you want uh, both lines of dialogue to come through clean. So I'm going to listen to this real quick. I'm so alone right now. I'm so alone right now. So he is a little louder. And unfortunately, this is a little bit of peaking here. Not much I can do about that. I did release the volume from about here to here, but that's not going to solve the problem completely um, between uh, his voice and Jason's voice. So what I'm going to do with compression, so I'm going to go to effects, you got amplitude and compression right here, and one just nice easy one, we'll go to the single band compressor. And now this is also something that, kind of like reverb, you can overdo it to a kind of crazy effect. Effect. I find that like if you do too much uh, compressor though, it's just gonna muddle the voice. So it's kind of like something you really, really want to fine tune. The presets, they're kind of nice. Vo voice leveler, uh, voice booster. If you don't think they're cutting through enough, those are pretty good. I want to show you real quick just kind of some standard numbers I would throw in there. Got your threshold. This is just uh, how much of a uh, like frequency and like the volume of their voice is being taken down. So I would say for Bernie's voice here, we're just going to take about 10 dB off again. It's very easy to overdo this effect. Um, attack and release, that refers to like the attack of the voice, the first hit of the sound, and release is the sound carrying it on. And you can just extend those. Uh, that's a bit more of an advanced setting if you just kind of want their voice to maybe trail off more, to punch harder. We'll mess with those for now output gain, that's just more kind of like over here, increasing or decreasing the decibel level, the volume of uh, the sound. So the ratio, I'm going to turn this up, so it's going to cut off 10 decibels off his voice, and then in about this frequency. Okay, let's see, let's go ahead and play that real, real fast. I'm so alone right now. I'm so alone right now. I'm without so alone right now. I'm so alone right now. It. I'm so alone right now. I'm so alone right now. I'm so alone. Okay, right now. so you can tell that uh, the difference is subtle. 
uh, but it is there. So compression is something where probably one of the last steps you would do uh, if you ever want to be editing dialogue, just kind of like a fine tuning. Also, I guess you can hear in the buzzing a little bit of a, the feedback of the buzzing disappearing. That's because uh, the threshold of the decibels is also cutting off some of that background buzzing. Again, that can be fixed with the denoiser in, uh, back in Premiere. So those are three very, very useful effects. I'll go ahead and apply that there. Um, I use these three effects all the time when I'm editing audio for my projects. And I hope you guys uh, found this tutorial helpful. Again, I'm Jeff from the Digital Lounge, and have a good day, guys.